UNBA star Brittany Griner is being detained in Moscow as tensions ratcheted up between Russia and the U.S. over the invasion of Ukraine. Griner was arrested on drug charges a month ago, but the news only made public over the weekend. When I relaunched this channel, because I used to have just exclusively real estate information here, when I decided I was going to go into a sports channel, I, I wanted to go into basically an anti-woke type thing. And then as I evolved, I said, you know what, let me broaden this and just talk about sports. And then I evolved further and started talking about Miami Dolphins content quite a bit. That became the feature focus of this channel. But when I first started talking about sports, one of the first topics that got some of my highest views still today was when I started talking about Brittany Griner. Brittany Griner had gotten arrested in Russia I jumped on it real quick right after it happened, ran into my office, filmed a quick video, and started talking about Brittany Griner being arrested for trying to smuggle in drugs to Russia. And then I followed her saga for quite some time, and I kept posting videos. And one of those videos, actually a couple of them actually went viral on this channel. And I'm like, this is it. This is where I want to be. And then I decided to get away because I didn't want to become the Brittany Griner channel. But... Nonetheless, I talked a lot about Brittany Griner, and I found out through doing research and talking to people that I actually became kind of knowledgeable about Brittany Griner. And I'm not going to go into any of the conspiracy theories about her sexuality and her gender and things of that nature. I just stayed with the point of her smuggling drugs, getting arrested, and being incarcerated in Russia. But now there's another controversy brewing. And that controversy involves Alex Stein, I believe that his, that's his name, who went out and basically <laughs> heckled her in an airport. And people have taken the word heckling and turned it into harassment. That's insane. He didn't get anywhere near her. He was holding up his phone, taking camera shots. I mean, basically he was walking through the airport doing selfies with her, you know, five, six, seven, ten feet in the background. And he was, you know, just making statements. Some of them might have been a little bit crude, but he wasn't harassing her. He wasn't doing what, you know, Maxine Waters told people to do. You have disrespected all of us. You have violated all of us. And while you think you have gotten away with everything that you have done, we are going to show you that you haven't gotten away with anything. This started. If you think we're rallying now, you ain't seen nothing yet. Make sure we show up wherever we have to show up. And if you see anybody in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. And you push back on them. And you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere. No, he didn't get out there and say, wherever you see somebody out in the street, you, you shout them down. You make them feel uncomfortable. He wasn't doing that. That's his shtick. That's how he gets his views. He goes out there and creates a, a an event around what he's doing. But, oh, my God, the, the WNBA and the, and the sports media said he feared for her safety. I understand this took place in an airport. An airport is probably the safest place you could be. Why? If you've flown any time in the last, uh, let's see, 22 years, you know that basically to get into an airport, you have to strip down, take off your belt, take everything else, get double scanned, butt probed, everything to make sure you have no weapons on you. So when people say that Brittany Griner was harassed and she was in fear for her safety, that's BS. That's complete BS. So now what has happened is the WNBA and ESPN and everybody else is like, oh my God, Brittany, oh my God, Brittany, she was harassed at the airport. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? And they decided that Brittany Griner, as far as I know, only Brittany Griner can fly private. Oh, wait a second now. That poses a problem. You know, flying private, you know, with all the climate change and global warming and whatever the stuff they call it these days, that's not going to be received too well, especially since she happens to be on the left side of the aisle. How do you justify, what does Greta Thunberg think? And how do you, I mean, I mean, what, what would you say to people who say, hey, you're supposed to be one of the climate advocates and you're flying around in private jets? Oh, I know what we'll do. 
we'll change the wording. We'll change the word from private jets to public charter, and nobody will know the difference. Let me ask you a question as, as I get ready to show you some videos here. What the hell is a public charter? How did they just take language and twist it and change it for their benefit? She's going to be flying on private planes, period. Can anybody else get out? No. That's a private plane. That's a private plane. There's no such thing as a public charter. They did it again. They changed the word. Illegal alien. Nope, can't say that. So what are they? They're undocumented people. Oh, did, the, did, did anything change? No, we just changed the word. So now, instead of being flying private, Brittany Griner is going to be flying a public charter. Let's listen to what ESPN had to say about this. ...into the WNBA season, and there are renewed questions around safety for Phoenix Mercury star Brittany Griner after getting harassed by a man at Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. Notice they don't show it. You will not see them showing the video of her being harassed. All you're going to do is have to accept what they're saying, that she was harassed. Security stepped in, but the incident alarmed her teammates. You know, it's unnerving um, to be in a situation like that. And unfortunately, it was literally the first time we were in public together. So that can't happen for our players, our coaches. Um, the safety of everyone comes first. Safety. So was Sarah Huckabee Sanders, was, was her family being thrown out of a restaurant and, and heckled because of who she was? That was that that was okay though when maxine waters says hey listen go out and attack these people wherever they are make sure you let them know that they're uncomfortable that's okay oh did you not know she said that let, let me go ahead and play that again right now you have disrespected all of us you have violated all of us and while you think you have gotten away with everything that you have done we are going to show you that you haven't gotten away with anything. This started, if you think we're rallying now, you ain't seen nothing yet. Make sure we show up wherever we have to show up. And if you see anybody in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. And you push back on them. And you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere. According to a bulletin published last month, a bulletin from the State Department month by the Department of Homeland Security, the U.S. remains in a heightened threat environment with the LGBTQIA plus community and racial minorities included among likely targets of. <laughs> I fly a lot. I'm a black guy. I fly a lot. I, I don't and have never, ever, 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 ever been targeted by anybody in an airport because I'm a black man. Never happened. Never has happened. Nor do I know anybody who has been basically targeted because they are black going to get on an airplane. Nope, hasn't happened. They made the whole shit up. It, it's it's unbelievable what's going on right now where they're getting homeland security to come out and tell people hey you know it's it's rough out there for the lgbtqiasiipi plus 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 man they're not going to have any more room potential violence the team called saturday's incident targeted hate it was always why is everything hate why is everything called hate? You can have a difference of opinion. You can basically heckle somebody and now it's called hate because they're trying to demean you. They're trying to make you think that you're just like the Ku Klux Klan or anything else. No, I don't like what she stands for. I don't like what she said. I'm going to let her know. She's a public figure. How is that hate? Was it hate, like I said, when Sarah Huckabee Sanders got thrown out? Was it hate when other people get chastised and attacked where they can't even have their lunch or dinner? Is that hate? If I were to put on a red, red hat and say, you know, make America great again, and people just came at me in the comments, is that hate? Or you just don't like what I have to say? I don't think it's hate. It's very alarming, very startling um, to just show up to the airport and have people waiting at your gate to just, I mean, 
just totally abrupt your day and follow you on the airport shouting, causing a scene. W. Isn't that what Maxine Waters said? Maxine Waters said, disrupt people, cause a scene. Hey, do you you have that tape of Maxine again? You have disrespected all of us. You have violated all of us. And while you think you have gotten away with everything that you have done, we are going to show you that you haven't gotten away with anything. This on it, if you think we're rallying now, you ain't seen nothing yet. Make sure we show up wherever we have to show up. And if you see anybody in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. And you push back on them. And you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere. NBA teams primarily travel by commercial aircraft in season for cost reasons. That's because they're not making any money, which is funny. If you look at the picture behind this, this video, there's nobody in those seats. There's nobody there. And that's this year because you can tell by Britney's hair, she doesn't have the braids in. There's nobody in those seats. Yeah, definitely cost problems. They couldn't afford to fly, fly private, but now things are going to change. Though Griner was allowed, but not mandated by the league to travel via charter for the entirety of the 2023 season. You notice how they called it now. You hear the difference. Charter. They on purpose. There's, again, when you're talking advertising and production, things are said for a specific reason. They did not say fly private. They said fly charter. What the hell is the difference? I'll tell you what the difference is. That word private just connotates things that the global climate people would freak out about. Mercury head coach Vanessa Nygaard was asked about travel plans going forward. Yes, we will be making adjustments that maybe shouldn't happen before, but right now uh, we're going to prioritize the safety of our players. And if her being home makes some people mad, uh, I think that obviously says more about them than it does about her. Oh, wait a second. If her being home is makes people mad and says more about other people than her, wait a second. I wasn't, I don't have anybody that got traded for the merchant of death. <laughs> Do you not realize what you just said? You just said that people shouldn't be angry that someone who denigrated the country was traded for the merchant of death. Meanwhile, there's a Marine still sitting in a cell in Russia somewhere. Kreiner had a season-high 29 points and six rebounds Sunday against the Indiana Fever and didn't speak to the media after the game. The Mercury did not respond to our requests for comment. Of course they didn't. <laughs> that just seems to be where things are headed these days. I'm going to throw out some stuff. I'm going to spew out some venom, some propaganda. And then if you ask me questions, we're just going to go ahead and hide. We don't really want to deal with this stuff. Because my first question is, hey, could you tell me what the difference is between private travel and public charter are? I'm, I'm having a different you know, problem correlating how you can fly private, but I've never heard of a public charter. What's the difference? And then when they answer that question, what's the carbon footprint that's going to be used to fly public charter because you're afraid of heckling? Number two question, who's paying for this? If you couldn't afford it before, where'd the money come from now? Who's absorbing this cost because your league sucks? I mean, there are some good games. My mother was in love with seeing women's basketball. She was a season ticket holder. I personally love watching the UConn women's basketball team. The WNBA, not so much. If people aren't paying for tickets, who's paying for this charter? Charter. So now we're going to hear from the WNBA commissioner on this stuff. Joined now by the commissioner of the WNBA, Kathy Engelbert. Commissioner, what was your reaction when you heard about what had happened at DFW last Saturday? Yeah, obviously it was very jarring for the players that were there, including BG. Um, he didn't ask you that. He didn't ask you what the play players felt. He said, what was your reaction? You have to listen when people talk. And she didn't answer his question. We had worked on a security plan. She did have a security with her. We were happy that she had that security with her. And he intervened in the situation and got the, the person uh, out of there. But yeah, it was um, a very unfortunate. I didn't know it initially that it was someone who does this 
as kind of a, a stunt and um, a stunt. So those of us who film YouTube videos and obviously Alex Stein, she doesn't even want to mention his name, doesn't want to give him any credibility. But if, you know, somebody else were to do some videos, maybe she would mention their name, but this is a stunt. It just doesn't mean anything. Welcome to the new media people. Um, so obviously, you know, working with the team, readjusting, you know, a few things from the original travel plan and security plan and making sure that we're keeping not only BG safe, but all of our players and certainly the players on the Phoenix Mercury. Yeah, Commissioner, I know that you've been in touch with Brittany Griner over the last six days. What have you had to say to each other? Yeah, so Brittany and I corresponded by text right after this happened that evening. And obviously, Brittany just wanted to make sure I knew how serious she felt that situation was. Uh, obviously, very empathetic. How, how serious was it? I mean, just think about it for a second. J just think to yourself, you're walking through an airport, you know that you've been traded for the merchant of death. You know what you said. You know what you said about the country. You're obviously recognizable. You're a large human being walking through an airport. So you think that, you know, it's it's it may have been wrong for him to, I don't know, say some of the things he said about her sleeping with Putin or having sex with Putin. That was kind of over the top. But how were you being, how was your safety impugned? If you knew who this guy was and you knew he was going to heckle you, I mean, God, I grew up where Don Rickles was a comedian. Don Rickles wouldn't have a career these days. His entire career was made, was there to make fun of people. I don't think Richard Pryor could have a, a, a career these days. I think Richard Pryor would be looked at as a hateful person. I really mean that. I don't know if Eddie Murphy could do the shtick that he used to do in today's environment. I think we've completely lost our mind and everything is now hate and we're trying to basically propagandize every aspect of life. Uh, how jarring it probably was for them at that moment in the airport and that we would work with, continue to work with the team, you know, to make sure that we protected her. Um, but, you know, we, we also are cognizant, which is why we thought the security plan was so important and having, having full-time security for her that this could happen anywhere in an arena, in a hotel, in an airport any oh you mean it could happen anywhere in a restaurant in a hotel in an airport what did maxine waters say you have disrespected all of us you have violated all of us and while you think you have gotten away with everything that you have done we are going to show you that you haven't gotten away with anything this started if you think we're rallying now you ain't seen nothing yet make sure we show up wherever we have to show up. And if you see anybody in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. And you push back on them. And you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere. Where, where you know, Brittany's going to be with or without her team members. So I think that part of the security plan is important. In you know what could really make a difference here? It would make a difference if Brittany Griner went on television, call Diane Sawyer, call Oprah, call whoever you want, sit there and go, I was completely wrong. The United States of America is an amazing country. I've seen, I've seen how bad it can be in other countries. I don't want to see this country ever become a third world nation. I was wrong. And I wholeheartedly believe that the United States of America is the best country in the world. And I salute the flag and I stand for it. I think everything would go away. And then also become a advocate for getting the other prisoners out of Russia. That would instantly change things, instantly. But will she do that? Accommodations were made for Brittany Griner for this season. Yeah, so we worked with her team, the Phoenix Mercury, who teams actually book travel for players and, uh, and, and their staff. And so we worked with them and we said, you know, any, anything you want to do, we recognize this unique situation after Brittany was uh, wrongfully detained in Russia for 10 months. Whoa, oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Propaganda again. Do you remember what happened? How she was caught smuggling drugs into Russia. 
You know, to this day, she never denied that. She never denied, nor did her attorneys or anybody else, that she happened to be bringing drugs into Russia. She said they were for sleeping purposes. It was a small amount. The charges were trumped up. I could even see that. But she never denied that the incident occurred and that she actually did it. So the whole, again, detained in Russia illegally. Do you know where that came from? I'll give you a second. Yep, they changed the words again. It was something that the Biden administration put onto Brittany Griner and said that she was being illegally detained. So let me ask you a question. If you go down to Mexico, if you go into England, if you go into France, you go into Canada, and you, you've got drugs on you, and their law, and their law says you cannot bring drugs into this country and they catch you with drugs on your person and they arrest you and put you in jail. Are you illegally detained or did you commit a crime? You can debate the sentence, you can debate what Russia did afterwards, but you cannot say she was illegally detained. I said this in my videos a year ago. That was the biggest propaganda thing I ever, I've ever seen a president do is to, to denote, to claim that she was illegally detained. She broke the laws of another country, period. Was the sentence excessive? That can be argued. Was she treated like a common criminal? That can be argued and debated. Was she illegally detained? Not at all. Not at all. And that was another incidence like the public charter that they completely put another spin on it so that people like this woman can say she was illegally detained when she wasn't. Not at all. Let's continue. So we worked with the team on a plan um, it was a hybrid plan, including included some charter travel, and this particular flight was not that. And I she said it again, some charter travel. They're using words to prop up their agenda. It's not a charter, it's a private plane. Obviously, we're adjusting that going forward. Are we to assume now? <laughs> look, at the, look at the Chiron on the bottom. The, the WNBA will allow teams to use public charter service for select flights. What in the hell is public charter? It doesn't exist. It's a private plane. It's a private charter. It is a private transportation mode. And they're saying public charter. That, my friends, is BS. The Brittany Griner will only be traveling by charter for the rest of the season? Right. Again, I would say she's going to have full-time security. She's going to be flying as much as we can keep her out of the public eye in an airport. Now, again, as I said, Jeremy, she could also be, you know, going, you know, out in the public eye in other ways. So that's why the full-time security plan. Oh, she could be going out to a restaurant. She could be going to a store or a gas station. And if she goes out to any of those places, she could be subject to harassment again. But I wonder who caused that. You have disrespected all of us. You have violated all of us. And while you think you have gotten away with everything that you have done, we are going to show you that you haven't gotten away with anything. This on it. If you think we're rallying now, you ain't seen nothing yet. Make sure we show up wherever we have to show up. And if you see anybody in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. And you push back on them. And you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere. With her is important, um, but we've certainly given, we recognize the unique situation and we've given Phoenix some flexibility from that perspective. Commissioner Engelbert, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Jeremy. So I, I hope you see what they've done here. They've taken a woman who broke the law in another country and they want to make it that she's beyond reproach, that you can't discuss anything about her, otherwise it's harassment and hate when it's not true. I don't understand why they're taking these words like public charter and changing the entire way that people look upon them. Why not just say private play? I don't care if she flies private. Do you care if she flies private? I don't care about the carbon footprint. I'm not a nut. You're, again, you're catering to the nuts. You're saying public charter. You're saying harassed. She was walking through an airport, which is one of the most secure places 
in the country, an American airport, Dallas, Fort Worth. I've been in that airport. I know what you have to do. You've all flown. You know what you have to do to get into an airport. Nobody, nobody is in danger walking through the airport. He made no gestures towards her. He didn't take a step in her direction. And you know how I know that's true? Because nothing, and I'm sure they contacted the Dallas police. I'm sure they contacted airport security. And, and they're like, hey, what did he do? Well, he was holding up a video and he was saying some stuff we didn't like. Did he advance towards her? No. Did he touch her? No. Did he give any racial epithets? Epithets? No. Did he call her a gay or anything? Nope, so we can check off hate crime. So what did he do? Well, he held up a camera and he was making a video and saying things into the lens while she was behind him. Uh, I'm sorry, Miss WNBA, that's not a crime. This is America, I can talk. I can hold up my phone and say, hey, look at Brittany Griner. Brittany Griner's back there in the background, and she's a person who hates America, and she was locked up in Russia. I, I'm not even looking at her. I'm not even, how can, I'm not accosting her. I'm not harassing her. I'm talking to a camera. I'm not even making any contact with her. He wasn't charged, wasn't brought in for questioning, nothing and ESPN and the media and Twitter and everybody else talked about this like this guy had committed a crime nope none whatsoever the police never launched an investigation I'm sure they contacted the state police I'm sure they contacted the governor's office I'm sure they contacted everybody and they're like well he didn't do anything man he was walking through an airport taking a selfie video and uttering stuff about the person behind him. That's not harassment. But in today's day and age, if you don't play along, you are considered a hate monger. Hope you enjoyed this show. Talk to you next time. But this stuff's got to stop. Hey, Maxine, what should we be doing if we see people we don't like? You have disrespected all of us. You have violated all of us. And while you think you have gotten away with everything that you have done, we are going to show you that you haven't gotten away with anything. This on it, if you think we're rallying now, you ain't seen nothing yet. Make sure we show up wherever we have to show up. And if you see anybody in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. And you push back on them. And you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere.